not really playing like this bonus round that can leave them lacking when they go up against guns. They've got everything they need and more. That's a pretty meaty wow. nade from Simple, my word. And come on then, Simple, give it oh. to <laughs> <laughs> Flamey just wrecks them with a nade of his own. And now he's going to try and deal with the apps push. Now, you know, it's not, Ooh, not they great. This bomb might go down. And for Mad Lions, you know, that's... It's, it's yeah. not like a round victory where they do much damage, but finding a bomb plant there in a round where you only had a couple of upgraded pistols, that's something you're going to take all yeah. day long. That's actually really smart because they run through through the B apps to underpass and that gets heard by Navi's short player. And so, you know, Simple drops a grenade, but then the short player, the second one, I think it was Flamey, moves away from B apps, right? So to assist short to deal with those three under players. And then Mad Lions, well, they walk two through uh, the balcony and they only need one kill. They know the cat player is pushed mid and they know there's only one B apps player. If they get rid of him, they get a bomb plant. And that's, yeah, the, the kill they need and the plant they find. So everything in this fourth round for Mad Lions. Same story for Na'Vi though, they upgrade. The AWP has come through for Simple. Flamey playing a Galil, although we know that's not going to hold him back. And Acor is going to go right into middle to start things off. Top mid smoke down, no fights found. Simple, he sat back on B. Boomich pushing ramp and taking the man advantage away from Roy. Simple being on B with the AWP in the opening round, uh, opening rifle round, I think is something that's going to really catch Mad Lions off guard. And also, Mad Lions love this B site on Mirage. It's a big tendency of them to end up here. So Simple already having a bit of a read to the situation. And uh, well, let's see if this does work out. Yeah, smokes fall into the connector, and that's going to give a bit of a veil for Mad Lions to move up through Catwalk with two players back in the side, though. One of these being simple on this AWP. He gets a collateral there on that peak. Deals damage onto Acor. Only killed one of the two players, but he's locked the AWP pretty much out of the round. Flamey follows up on a Bubski, and Acor, the man who was tagged up by simple earlier on, is going to get finished off there by Perfecto. Na'Vi, they, they don't miss a beat. And... Yeah, this is this is a great start from Na'Vi. Yeah, painful patience is, is what I would use to describe that from Simple. Like he takes the shot short, he sees three, and then he just doesn't go back in. And Na'Vi force Mad Lions to try and cross to the site. They just don't take any fights. And because they have such an advantage and a third man in, in Flamey rotating through market, there was just so many players there. And Mad Lions, there's nothing they can do, right? Na'Vi aren't giving them the kills. Acor's holding for an eternity with the orb, and no one's peeking into him, so. Yeah, that's a, another nice round for Na'Vi, man. They, they look ready to play today, and that's what I wanted. Ooh, well... <laughs> Jeez, this is, uh, this is quite the beginning for Na'Vi. Man, this is brutal. Electronic just did something despicable as well. Blind, spraying the con smoke, gets himself a double kill. Yeah, it's kind of scary because, like, you know, Na'Vi, we, we, we said how they fell off for a moment, it felt like, but... I don't know, like, you could tell that they really weren't content being there. And so, you know, I imagine everyone's been putting in a lot of individual effort as well as, you know, honing in what they're doing as a team a bit more. You know, we've already seen improvements from them. That kind of is explained by the fact that they're still even here at DreamHack. You know, they, they weren't able to, to stick around back at the Road to Rio in the CIS region. Oh, my. And Electronic Man, he's really feeling it today. He uh, He's not giving any room to Mad Lions. My goodness, no, I, I, I don't know, Harry. What? What's going on? I feel like we're like back at uh, Hugo. Have we like invented time travel and this is actually on the run up to Katowice after all. And it's that Na'Vi that we were all really excited to see again. Maybe, just maybe. I, I love Matthew's speech in the uh, you know, pre-game segment because he went on a rant about electronic and about how, you know, he's not appreciated enough inside of this team. Or even if, like, you know, you know, he's just, he just doesn't get enough talk around his name, I think. And I mean, everyone knows how good he is, but often in the shadow of simple, well, right now he is manhandling men in the middle, taking two back-to-back -back rounds. 
Roy in a one on five. Good luck, buddy. Spotted the orb. That's a bit of info, but there's two more players bench side. Nice shot. Simple hits the tag through the wall. He must have seen the barrel, but you know, good luck getting out of here alive. He's not going to expect another on the bench, and Simple will steal it away before he spots Perfecto in the corner. Navi six and zero, Harry. Look at this electronic. Wowee. What's kind of weird as well is when we usually look at like the stats pages for tournaments like this and we're, we're far enough that we're in the playoffs now, right? Navi have done groups and we've had a couple of playoff matches. You know, we usually expect to see like simple electronic up top of the tournament in terms of, of, of the numbers of the HLTV rating. Electronics at number six, simple's at number eight. And that's those are the only two players that we have in this series in the top eight uh, there. So that's, uh, yeah, it's kind of a different vibe. It's like we're the top, Mir coming in second. So man, interesting changes. But Na'Vi, they come to play in this series. That is one thing I can say for sure. Simple, no, not okay, not allowed, not acceptable. And he's gonna escape as well. Yeah, Bubski's retrieved an AK though. And whenever I see Bubski armed and dangerous, I do remember some of the despicable things this guy's done. So I wouldn't be ready to write him off just yet. With that kill, he secured a path into the A bomb site, and Simple isn't over aggressing. He's waiting for the rest of Narvi to get into position here. Everyone has kits, and there's still plenty of utility. So Narvi, they're, they're in a very good spot to give this a go. However, Acor dropping Flamey has now left this into a two on two. This smoke on Simple is going to prove to be paramount when they go for this retake. But a lot of time has already ticked down off this bomb. And if Na'Vi are going to go for it, they've got to be a little bit faster than this. They've really got to go or else there is no going at all. And smoke down. In fact, those going to try and stick it. Yeah, he just gets found by Bubski, who's on three kills in this round. And on the back of it, Mad Lions, they are going to find their first here over on the T side. That's a two on four for Mad Lions. Maybe even a two on five, Harry. Ridiculous stuff from Bubski, boosted in the window, right? He avoids Simple's orb, uh, then just does this. Um, yeah, that, that re-smoke, you know, they, they have two bits of utility before they get the bomb down, being Mad Lions. One goes in con to cut off Flamey. He's then finished off by Acor. And another one goes in jungle. That jungle smoke was delayed. It went down as they planted. And so Na'Vi wait behind it and then decide against it and go all the way around. Not only bleeding out their time from the smoke, but also from the rotation. That's a nice shot and simple, albeit a bit RNG. But yeah, Na'Vi, they, I guess they waste their own time by, by hanging around in jungle, only not to commit to that retake. So yeah, it's going to cost them, but not a lot. They've still got money in the bank and a bit of a round lead now. Mad Lions getting a grip on this game. Simple has repositioned into the catwalk. He is 12 and one right now. This man is not stopping. And the AWP is on the other side as well. So Acor can't escape. He can't go anywhere without walking past Simple. Shush has gained a lot of ground here in the window, but it's Flamey to deal with him. An advantage back in favor of Na'Vi. And this ace site now, they're going to be the object of desire for Mad Lions. But three players are already in CT for Na'Vi. And Mad Lions likely aren't going to be ready for that. Acor's still holding over towards short side. And he can just keep holding this until the end of the round. He actually deals with Perfecto. So while this was a four on three, for Na'Vi in the retake. In the blink of an eye, it's fallen just as simple and flamey, who might not even give this a go anymore. With Acor in position over at Shaw, okay, there's a smoke on simple. That maybe spurs you on, but your fight Ooh. don't go your way. And Roy secures the round with a double. Mad Lions, gonna get their second on the board. Still money for the side of Na'Vi, still able to invest, but it feels like Mad Lions have kind of remembered what this game means and how good they are on this map usually in these last few rounds. Yeah, I, I like how they set Acor up there for the post plant. They put him on cat really early. And because Mad Lions have the window from that boost of Shush, that's something we'll see a lot from these guys as well. Uh, you know, they have the window, so they know that they don't need to, Acor doesn't need to worry about re-aggression. He just needs to watch the catwalk and the connector. And he just picks Con and sits there on a timing. When Mad Lions get the A site, Acor then pushes short, like you said, kills Perfecto and B, and then just has the best post plant pretty much in the game, right? An AWP on short holding a triple plant 
can't like Navi, like you said, you know, they had a smoke, but if they don't get the kills, they're not gonna have a chance. And Mad Lions convert a mad disadvantage round into a victory here, finding two in a row. That's important as well. Navi losing back to back rounds means their money is gonna start to drip dry. They've still got three a player uh, left, but that's gonna run out after this round. They need to get back on the CT side before Mad Lions control the economy. Notice the map while all of this utility is going into A. Mad Lions love not committing off the back of these XX. They often swap players out and go for a second full util burst on A. But I think what they're doing right now is, is they're assuming Na'Vi know that, that setup that they often do, which is like the double pump into A. And Na'Vi actually haven't left the A site after this utility. And they're going to go elsewhere, assuming that Na'Vi over-rotate off the back of a read. But... That's not the case right now. Everyone's just sitting back and sticking to their positions. Mid control is going to get taken late. And Mad Lions, despite throwing those early A nades, will be finishing this round of B. I'll throw in the con and window smoke to try and facilitate it. Now, whenever Mad Lions have gone for this smoke, it's often been the B player that Na'Vi have had to encounter on the back Ooh. of it. It's simple. Well, he's ready. He's coming on this rotation and he's already shut down too. This push from Mad Lions has just grinded to a halt. Flamey does get bested by Bubski, but Perfecto still in position at bench. They weren't ready for the double setup and he does just about deal with the first man in. Here comes Electronic. He's mopped up another. Roy falls shortly thereafter, and it's another round where both Simple and Electronic put up two for Na'Vi. That's a seventh on the board. And yeah, I do think, right, like the the, the consistency of, of how how Madden's go for this B play, right? It's always these same smokes, these same positions. Uh, and the moment those smokes come in, Na'Vi just seem aware at this point that it's yeah. going to be the B play, right? They're very, very fast to react there. They already have Electronic coming in on a flank down through mid. They rotate simple right away. Uh, so I don't think Mad Lions can really go back to that one all too much. No. Na'Vi have kind of wisened up to it. Yeah, you can see simple immediately, right? Like uh, someone in mid smokes con and mollies it, and but they smoke it from like the inside, I guess, from the A site side of things uh, to cut off a view towards catwalk to allow for that mid split. And the second that smoke comes down, simple immediately leaves window. He doesn't even want the mid fight. He just goes B and gets two short picks. So yeah, very, very aware on Na'Vi looking in control. And something that Mad Lions would definitely profit off uh, when they go for these fakes, it, our CT's getting aggressive and trying to like rotate fast to the enemy support. Like, push be absent going, oh guys, A smokes, I'm, I'm pushing B. But Na'Vi aren't going to make those mistakes and they aren't going to give you the kills in the mid round. They're just going to wait in the sights because CT sided, advantage, they have a lot of crossfires. Na'Vi have been stacking the right bomb sites. Simple has been all over the place, every round in a different position. He's on triple now. And yeah, that's that's it's just working wonderfully for Na'Vi. I love the game plan here. Even though Mad Lions are trying to throw spanners in the works, Na'Vi brought their toolkit too. Ooh, Electronics heard wow. the jump up, and even then, Bubski, he's, he's missed it a couple of times, and he knows, like, okay, I missed it once, maybe I can get back in. Oh, man, Bubski, dude, what's gone wrong today? He's, uh, there we go. He's finally gotten into the window, but, yeah, unsurprisingly, with all the grace of an elephant, Bubski has given up his position. It just gets dealt with immediately. Acor on this orb now in a 1v5 doesn't feel too likely for him. Na'Vi have just kind of conceded everything on the map. They're giving him a bit of room to maneuver. But the moment he tries to do anything meaningful, he should get shut down. And Boomich is even wrapped into top mid. So that round is dead to rides in favor of Na'Vi. Yeah, I want to try and save Bubski from humiliation a little bit. Um, there, there is a problem with the window. Valve, please fix. Uh, when you jump on the ledge and you try and get into the window from like the boost spot, the, the, I, I, I don't know how to explain this. You can check the clippings if you use uh, the, the command in console to check clippings. There's like two clippings on the ledge of the window and you can't walk over it. You have to jump over it. That's why Bubski's making noise. That's why Bubski can't get up into the window. It's a really annoying bug that many people have started to realize now that that's set self boosters come through valve please fix although i will say harry valve has uh, pumped out a pretty damn good update last night yeah um, man 
It's, I we're was not wondering playing if on we it. were going to talk about yeah, it. We're not, we're not we have to on play it. some Dust later, Hugo. Yeah, figure out the reverse doors. Um, and if you would like to join us for a game of Dust, just message Hugo. Wow. He's the game arranger. He's the... Uh, the man with all the answers and that. Don't implicate me in, in anything you say, Harry. Shush here. 1v5. And he might get turned to dust as well. As he's only armored this deagle. Does at least have armor to work with. There's a Molotov out from short. And just as he looks away from window, Simple goes in with the peak. So four in the round for, uh, for Simple. And a knight's on the board for Na'Vi. This is actually wild, three. man. Sorry, Hugo, to just cut you off again. But 13 and 3 on electronic, 19 and 3 on simple. Between them, that's what? 32 to 6 already. 12 rounds into the game. Harry, I was going to say the exact same thing. So, luckily enough, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you did my job for me. The Mad Lions, well, they need someone to do their job for them because they're struggling at it right now. Two rounds on the T side. Na'Vi have come alive. That's a big opening kill from Shush in lower. He's going to take down Simple. And that is a man who has been wreaking havoc in every position. You know, it, it, it had to happen eventually, Harry. Simple, he's been B, he's been A, he's been middle. He needs to be under pass one round, and he gave it a go. But unfortunately, it won't work wonderfully for him. That line's going to look to go elsewhere. Nice grenade. Finding the trade. Shush dropped down lower. It's going to be an A split anyway, but they've lost one of their prongs. Boost Electronic up, and Mad Lions were even holding for it, but Electronic is able to get away with that kill. Na'Vi with a very heavy presence over towards this B site, and Mad Lions, they're walking out into A, but like it feels too good to be true. Uh, <laughs> they're still being very, very cautious, because why would Na'Vi have left A? But they have left A. And Acor now down here in the connector, trying to hold on to the short side. You don't really envy his position. There could be players coming in from everywhere. But he's been able to deal with Flamey. Perfecto is wrapping around in through top mid. And if he catches the timing here, that's a big kill to find. Acor gets removed. Bobski was wrapping through T-Spawn. And now because he's seen Perfecto in top mid, he, he decides against it. He comes back to around towards Ramp. And he's got to help Roy out. He deals with the first map, what? follows up onto Boomit. And now just Perfecto left to find. He goes lower and Bobski's got all three. A stellar round. And, and that there is, is all saved because Bobski makes that decision decision to knock to uh, sorry not to commit to that t-spawn ramp and Look comes back into the ramp to help roy out boomish just walks into the open his teammate dies from ramp harry and he just looks at stairs and walks into the open he had cover he, he had position he had a gun and he's just I, I don't know if it was bad comms or he doesn't hear him or or what but boomish just walked into the gunfire and didn't even seem aware oh dear that's a big blunder but a huge round from bubsky of course not to take it away from him, but I feel like that one was on a platter somewhat. Yeah, nice to not commit with that that you know, mid wrap, like you said, right? It's not just the fact that Perfecto's not flanking and coming in through mid, but it's uh, it's him realizing once Acor dies that you know his teammate, if he leaves now, his teammate is alone and is likely going to get overwhelmed in the next few seconds, and Navi could just stick the bomb. So you know, it's either it's either come back or guarantee a round loss. Not playing that game. Mad Lions, three smokes into middle. Connector, window, and catwalk, or at least top mid, to allow for Shush to cause a bit of commotion. It's not going to be the commitment, though. It's a B play. Flamey's here with a second orb. He's not had this yet. And, oh, he didn't spot the player close either, but he could still get value finding one. Asylian with a close trade. That's still a big pick as Mad Lions are further in the site than Navi anticipate. Perfecto can't see a thing, and he's being wrapped from the bank. Oh, line with a grenade. It's a touchdown for Mad Lions. That nade was so dead on. That that was like scary levels of precision. And Shush is even holding on for the cat flank. So Electronic just gets shut down. Doesn't even get to see anyone. Boominch is going to go back into mid to try and sniff out Shush. But, oh, yeah, that, ugh, ugh. simple. Going to get followed up onto as well by a Cillian. And that B site causes some problems in this round for Na'Vi. It's a bit unfortunate. Flamey goes aggressive with the AWP. I thought he saw the close guy. Like, it looked like he saw him. But uh, I guess, you know, that's the X-Ray just giving a false impression. And I he mean, goes he... a little too deep, gets one kill. That's not enough, sadly. And then for Perfecto, it gets a bit awkward. He didn't really realize they were in the site. Uh, had he realized, that could have been a bit of a different round.
Yeah, Mad Lions are really, really good at setting up like one player for a post plant and then committing with four. And then that one player often like gets a double to, to guarantee, to force a save or just to guarantee the round win. Like they do it with Acor a lot. They they do it, they let Bubsky lurk on this T side. Uh, in that case, it's Shush in mid with three smokes just to like let him hide chair. And look at the timing Asilian's found. He has just walked into the A site through connector. Navi have no one watching. Simple's coming to help. Electronic trying to get one. And it's the two best players here for Navi in the same site. This can't be feeling good for Mad Lions. Asilian trying to get further progress. Simple's dropped another. Asilian will join the fray, but he's down to nine, and Simple has not left this window. He is hanging around the smoke with another, finishing the job, and Orb the Orb now. Acor coming through. He won't commit. What can he do? Ooh, there's Perfecto gone. Trying to deal with Simple now. Back to back in this smoke. Spots Flamey and CT, but Flamey's able to beat him. Nice attempt from Acorp, but not good enough. 10 on the board now for Na'Vi, and this CT side is off to a, uh, a stellar start. It's the first round, licks the draw to a close very, very shortly. Simple and Electronic, the, the the duo that we kind of, you know, missed missed a bit, right? During, especially the Road 3 OCIS region. Uh, it didn't really feel like you ever had these two showing up in the same game, so it's very relieving to see them both on their A game here and now for Na'Vi. Yeah, they definitely had great reads this match so far. Like, you know, simple already in B, by the way. Mad Lions are hitting the site and they're walking into a triple stack. It feels standard at this point that Na'Vi have the majority of the players on this site. Roy, ready for one, but quickly traded. Shush getting another from the apartments. Oh, actually, sorry, that's from mid. It's only Acor stuck in apps. He dies, the round's done. There it is, it's all on Shush on five. And they know exactly where he's coming from too. Simple's posted. And even if he wasn't, there's still two more players in B, so. Oh dear, that's a missed shot, but it's recovered nice. 11 to 4, Na'Vi leading the way at the end of the first half of play. And that all rhymed, but it's kind of coming to an end now. I don't have any more rhymes left in the tank. Betway, they, they're putting this one even further in favor of Na'Vi. And I think that's pretty pretty fair, honestly. 11 to 4 at the end of the first half. Hugo, uh, do you want to weigh in? Do you want to say some words? Uh, I agree, yeah. No, Betway, good sound lads. Good, I good agree. Choice. Yeah, no. Sound lads. There we yeah. go. That's Hugo Byron. <laughs> Hugo B Byron, of course. And Electronic gonna lead the way into this B side. Oh no. Oh dear. Asilian, he's on the back line. He's killed Boomish running out of Palace. Now Navi have B, but they lose the first man in, so trading has left them a man down in the post pump. It's still doable with these Glocks, however, USPs, as long as Mad Lions communicate, as long as they wait for these two cat players and go in as a unit. They should be fine. I say should. That's not a certainty by any means of the word. Flamey finds another, and now it gets trickier. It gets uh, more and more difficult. By the second, a silly and big kill, but he gets dinked on the return, and Simple still in the sight, fighting to the nail. Missed shots for a silly, and you can't afford to miss those. It's Simple with three on the site, and in a, an instant, Na'Vi, they're going to take a 12th round. It feels like nothing is undoable for this team. And that might just be pushing them over the line here in Mirage, in Mad Lions' map pick in this series. Rut row. Also, hello! There's 42 kills on Simple and Electronic combined. What the is going on, Hugo? That's a great question, Harry. I'm glad you're shouting it from the rooftops. I really am, man. Got to let the people know. The best duo in Counter-Strike. Casting, simple and electronic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that, Hugo, now that. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, simple. Nailing the first man is short. He's getting pressured from everywhere. But this is Ooh. someone who actively enjoys the pressure. Oh, Acor, though. Triple kill with the Deeg in a matter of seconds has brought this down to a 1v1. And at this point, Na'Vi, they're saying, all right, Flamey, look, we probably shouldn't have died here. We we may have screwed this one up. But Flamey, it's all on you. And you're good in these situations. This is why we pay you the big bucks, Flamey. We need you to deliver. Acor's going to be given a bit of time here to retrieve some weapons over in middle, and he's going aggressive into the top of mid. Ah. I want to see the Deegs as much as anyone else, but we need to see how this round goes down. So let's go back. Acor, 
holding on to the top of mid. This bomb is here. Oh, flame, oh he's got my. it. And he saves the round. Now, now let's roll those deeg shots back, baby. Now let's take a look at what our man Acor did with the deagle. Oh, that's so sad that he doesn't get the round as well, right? Like, he hears Flamey run away from ramp. Flamey almost took the fight on A, but he realized that bomb's in spawn, and if I get stuck, you know, chasing this gunfight, and it doesn't appear, I'm going to lose the round. So Flamey goes back for the bomb. Acor goes to fight him, and Flamey hits a perfect shot. Galil King, best in the business. We already know it. And Mad Lions, they're going to run at mid. Pistol's out, though. This shouldn't be hard. Ubit already with two. Simple comes in with a cleanup. 30 kills and some more. It's just a silly and left up on A. Good luck. A silly and does sound like a silly one. So let's see if he can get away with that in this round. Ooh. Ooh. No. Uh, Boomage. <laughs> Turns around and sees him. That's fine. You know, jumping around with the back, Teddy gets the kill. Three in the round. Lots of money made. For Boomich, 14 to 4, and Mad Lions coming in with an investment, but it could be their only investment over on this CT side if they don't pick it up. Yeah, I'm glad we got orbs out for this buy round, right? Everything is here, everything is available. A kit on Shush might be limiting, but at this point, beggars cannot be choosers, and Mad Lions are begging for the beating to stop. Simple. Back with the AWP deep in B right now. We've got Acor fighting middle, but there's no. Uh, no players left in Narvi. Oh, that flash missed. It was too high up. Just by a millimeter, Roy is going to find Flamey. And the worst part about that, Harry, is Electronic gets whited by it as well. Or oh, sorry, other way around. Flamey gets whited by Electronic, which also doesn't blind Roy. Dear, oh dear. Really comes crumbling down right there. Narvi got to pull back a man disadvantage here. They'll go and take middle. There's a man in the ladder room in the form of Bubski. And that open CT has come rotating back to the market. He can watch the back of the window boost. But Bubski's also controlling that area, patrolling it. So Narvi, where do they want to commit here with four men? Oh, look at Shush go, man. He's all the way through T-Spawn. And he... Oh, no. Bobski had a timing there, but now they're in the... Oh, wait. Hang on a moment. You thought that you... Oh, you thought that they were going to get Bobski, but no. Because he's oh, not back around. But then Simple... Well, actually, he'll take that bet. He'll raise you on it. And he does shut down Bobski with the no-scope. Perfecto now going to try and get out through the apartments. There's two players inside of this B bomb site. He's got support from Catwalk. Perfecto. On quiet for now. Shush is coming on this flank all the way through t spawn And oh no, that's the bomb dropped. Electronic gets caught going through the smoke. This round is chaos. Asilian deals with Perfecto. And it's all on to Simple at the very, very end. He's not able to find Shush, whose flank does a hell of a lot in that round for Mad Lions. Yeah, I think get that fifth. And they managed to keep their heads above water right now. I think Navi realized that that was a B stack. I think Perfecto might have called it from the apartments because you can see, you know, Mad Lions had four players in or around B. And Navi try and bail. Electronic goes through that smoke to escape to A in the final 30 seconds. But like you said, Shush, he pushed A, he flanks T Sport, he comes up, catwalk into middle, perfectly placed, and drops two, winning the round here for Mad Lions, keeping them in the game. In their map pick, remember, five rounds to their name. Simple P is just so ready. Bobski walks into the shot. If Navi just commit here, they could close the map, get 15, pretty much guaranteed. Asilian's the only man here. Mad Lions are so far away on these rotations. Asilian needs a double kill at bare minimum. He's going to try and stall, try and stay alive. That works too, but Electronic's pushing it, and Asilian's now spamming smokes on 4 HP with 4 bullets. He walks into the orb. Flamey and Simple absolutely tearing through this round, and it feels like Mad Lions, their best bet might be saving. Yeah, it's really, it's not just their best bet, it's really their only bet at this point. Two on five is not a retake they're winning anytime soon. And even then, getting away with these guns is like tenuous at best. Now, V, they're in a spot where they can dedicate a couple of players to go hunting. And I mean, with the with the close proximity to this bomb site from guys like Shush, it's not even like it would take much effort from Na'Vi to hunt these Ooh. players down. Shush makes noise over his short, now they know he's here. Now, the, the benefit to this is that they can kind of run like a miniature little bait and switch in the sense that Acor can help shush out. And Na'Vi actually decides to play it very, very safe and don't dedicate to hunting those players down. So 15 on the board for Na'Vi, 5 for Mad Lions, 10 needed in a row to get this one to overtime. 
Uh, I I don't know, man. Like as impressed as I've been with Mad Lions, as much as I as I thought they were gonna kind of really take it to Navi here on Mirage. Ten in a row feels like you're asking for a hell of a lot. And with how Na'Vi are playing right now, with simple and electronic looking like this, I don't know if that's achievable. Yeah, my worry in this game was that, like, you know, Mad Lions would have read Na'Vi on this map and would know exactly what they're doing. And, you know, Na'Vi would, would maybe... I don't want to say they're going to underestimate Mad Lions. Like, that would be a mistake. But maybe not be ready for some of the ideas Mad Lions have, have surprised so many teams with. But in the first half, it didn't feel that way. Na'Vi stacked every correct site. They made every read. They didn't fall for any fakes. And you can't really ask for more than that on a CT Mirage. Right now on the T side, they're controlling the map and the A site as well. Simple looks to close this uh, entire map here on... His own and a no scope headshot with a follow up. That would 